Well, fine fans, a good afternoon and welcome to the final press conference before the big showdown ahead of Zerto Barrera live here at Bank of California Stadium in Los Angeles, California, where Friday night, July 9th, live on the zone, you can catch all the boxing action brought to you, of course, by Oscar De La Hoya's Golden Boy Promotions. Catch all the action as the undercard will start at 1215 Pacific and then the live to zone stream at 6 p.m. on the West Coast. First up, opening on the DAZN card. Again, this will kick off at 6 p.m. Pacific. Two undefeated contenders, 19-0, Hector Tanahara Jr. will put his undefeated record on the line against another undefeated cohort. That is William Zepeda, who is 22-0. How about a big hand for both of these undefeated fighters? All right, we're going to start with you, Hector. San Antonio, Texas. Welcome to L.A. I hope you're enjoying the weather. First question. What do you feel a win over a tough, undefeated guy like Zepeda is going to do for your career? Uh, first off, uh, I'd like to thank everybody for being here. Uh, I feel like a win over William Zepeda would put me in the talks for some, some big fights after, in this weight class. And uh, that's what I'm looking to do. You know, I'm looking to be a world champion soon. Excellent. William, this is your time. Are you ready for this moment? ¿Cree que este combate es tu momento, un momento para demostrar de lo que eres y por qué? Pues la verdad es un combate muy complicado, eh, me siento muy emocionado el, el estar en esta gran cartelera donde estarán grandes peleadores y pues eh, para mí una, un gran reto el demostrar quién es William Cepeda ante un gran peleador. Yes, it's an exciting card, it's a big card for me. I'm excited to be on such a card with such great fighters, so it really is a big challenge for me to demonstrate who I am. All right, Hector, back over to you. Your opponent has stopped his last 12 opponents. Does this worry you at all? No, it doesn't worry, worry me at all. Um, he's, he has a lot of knockouts, but he hasn't faced the opposition that I have. And uh, I think that's a, a big factor, and that's going to show in this fight. Okay, William, I'm going to give you the last question. There's a lot of talk about this fight being perhaps the stealer of the show. You guys could possibly take away the fight of the night. Does that add any pressure to you? And what do you think it is about the two of you that would make people think this could be a great fight? William, la última pregunta para ti. ¿Por qué crees que esta pelea es tan esperada? ¿Qué es lo que trae cada uno de ustedes que causa que la gente piense así? ¿Y te va a dar más presión? Pues eh, es una pelea muy importante tanto creo para mí y para Héctor porque los dos somos mexicanos y creo que cuando un mexicano, dos mexicanos están arriba del ring damos un espectáculo seguro, eh, creo que bueno Héctor tiene un estilo eh, muy elusivo, yo tengo un estilo de mucha presión, también sé boxear, entonces creo que va a ser una gran pelea y espero y eh, Héctor se haya preparado bien para poder brindar un gran espectáculo al público. Well, this fight is very important for me and for Hector. We're two Mexicans, and when two Mexicans fight, we always give a great show, a show for sure. Hector has a style that's very elusive. I like to pressure, but I also know how to box. So I hope that he's come very well prepared to give a great fight and to give a great show to the fans. Well, there you have it, folks. These two undefeated Mexican fighters in the ring Friday night opening up on the zone at 6 o'clock. Let's get both of you up front, please, for one stare down before you meet again tomorrow for the official weigh-in prior to the big event. Again, Hector Tanahara Jr. of San Antonio, Texas, the undefeated. Also puts his undefeated record on the line, both fighters Heading in undefeated, William Zepeda at 22-0, including 12 stoppages in his last 12 fights. It's happening here at Union, or the Bank of California Stadium in Los Angeles, California, Friday night, live on zone. Hector Tanahara, William Zepeda, thank you, gentlemen, and we will see you tomorrow for the weigh-in.
All right, it keeps getting exciting as we bring up now another world title fight. Ladies and gentlemen, two champions contending for the WBA Flyweight World Championship. Welcoming from East LA, Sanisa Superbad Estrada. And she'll take on Tenkai Tsunami. All right, Tenkai, we're going to go with you first. You're a great champion from Japan. What made you want to come to Los Angeles and fight Sanisa in her backyard? はい、えっと、やっぱチャンピオンであるので、え、誰が I'm a champion, so I, uh, no matter where, no matter who, uh, I fight. And then I, I never refuse to get an offer, any, any offer. I know Estrada is a very great fighter, but I am confident to win this fight. All right, Sunisa, you're fighting at home. How does it feel to have the target on your back? It's usually the other way around. <laughs> no, it feels great to have a target on my back. Um, it feels great to just come into another world title fight after just getting out of one in March. Um, but those are my goals, those are my dreams. I want to be multiple world champion at different divisions. And thank you so much to Golden Boy Promotions for making that happen because after my last world title fight, um, uh, Bernard Hopkins and Oscar De La Hoya told me personally, we're going for unifications and world titles fights only, and that's what I want. And um, you know, I know Tenkai Tsunami is uh, very, uh, she has a lot Fights with a lot of pride and a lot of courage, and much respect to her for coming here to fight me. Speaking on that, Tenkai, this now is your fifth different country that you'll be fighting in. How happy are you to come to America, fight on a Golden Boy card, and worldwide on DAZN? そうですね。他の国とはま変わらないんですが、あでもあのボクシングで盛り上がってるというアメリカで、そしてダズンでもあのもう全世界配信というところで、私にとってもアピールできるチャンスだと思っています。I've never I've never imagined to fight in America as there is no fight a lighter weight class fights of female in America. But Senisa's accomplishment brought this here, so which is great, really great. And this is my opportunity to showcase my uh, uh, boxing skill to the global fans. Great, thank you. Okay, Senisa, we'll finish up with you. How special is it for you to be the face of women's boxing now? You're, a, you're bringing a huge following into the arena, and so many are going to find out who Senisa Estrada is on Friday night. Yeah, it feels amazing. It's everything I've ever dreamed of, dreamed of since I was a little girl. I started boxing when I was eight, so um, the struggle and the journey to get to where I am right now has been very difficult. There's been more struggles than there was great moments, but now it feels great that all the hard work is paying off because I remember fighting in LA multiple times in the beginning of my career with uh, not being televised, not having a promoter, not making any money, and to just see where I am now is just amazing. So I have a lot of people, who, a lot of women and girls who look up to me, so I just want to continue to um, be that example. That's great. Sinise Estrada, ladies and gentlemen, Tsunami taking center stage Friday night. If we can get you center stage right now for a face-off, please. WBA Flyweight Championship of the World on the line as Tsunami puts her belt up against the LA native herself, Sinisa Superbad Estrada. Again, live on the zone Friday night from here at Bank of California Stadium in Los Angeles, California. Thank you, ladies. We will see you Friday inside the ring. And of course, we'll see you at the weigh in as well as we make our way. Now we go to the co-featured bout, ladies and gentlemen. 
contending for the vacant WBC interim lightweight title from South El Monte, California, Joseph Jojo Diaz Jr. He'll be taking on tough contender who's also celebrating a birthday today, 32 years young, Javier Fortuna. All right, Jojo, your opponent, as usual, has not been shy in voicing his opinions on you and the fight Friday night. What do you have to say about that? I mean, a lot of all my opponents, man, that's all they do is just talk the shit. But uh, once we step inside that ring, it's a whole different story. So I'm just going to let my, 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 my actions do the talking. All right, Javier, have all these changes of fights frustrated you or made you more hungry to beat just anybody they put in front of you? Javier, ¿te han frustrado a todos esos cambios o te ha dado más hambre o ganas para derrotar a cualquier persona que enfrentas? Eh, buenas tardes, gracias a Dios por esta oportunidad. Eh, esto me ha motivado muchísimo a, este, a, esto, a ver todos esos cambios. Sé que de, al final y al cabo era una, una estrategia, pero lo que más ha puesto es, me ha motivado mucho más. Está concentrado en mi gimnasio y la preparación. Good afternoon. I uh, thank God for this opportunity. And yes, I'm motivated. You know, there have been changes, but what I've done is just changed my strategy and kept training hard in the gym to give a great fight. Okay, Jojo, going back over to you. You fought back in February. Five months later, you're back inside the ring. Is that the plan moving forward to stay active? Absolutely. I mean, uh, I was very, very um, mad that it, things ha had to go that way, the way it did. Um, you know, being inactive for a year and uh, especially after having one of the best performances with Tevin Farmer. But uh, I moved all past that. Um, I know that this opportunity happened for a reason and I know that it's an opportunity that God created for me and uh, I'm willing to take on the tough challenges always. And I plan on taking the tough challenge with Javier Fortuna. A lot of people have been ducking him. But uh, I'm going to go out there and execute my game plan and go out there and showcase to everybody what I'm all about and why I, am, why I was a 130-pound champion and why I'm going to be a major threat at 135. Excellent, Jojo. Final question for you, Javier. What type of fight should we expect for this highly anticipated co-main event Friday night? Javier, ¿qué tipo de pelea podemos esperar de este anticipado duelo coestelar de este viernes? Bueno, mi, mi estilo de pelear, todo el mundo sabe que lo mío, lo, a mí lo que me gusta es pelear, a mí lo que me gusta es guerrilla y fuego. No es lo mismo, yo le voy a hacer ver a él aquí en su mismo ciudad. No es lo mismo llamar al diablo que verlo llegar. Y llegó el momento y mañana será. You know what my style is? I like to fight. It's not the one, it's one thing to call out the devil, but it's a totally different thing to see him coming at you. That's what it's going to happen this Friday. Well, there you hear it, folks. Live right here, Bank of California. Gentlemen, please come to the center for your face-off. Please face up to the camera. Joseph Jojo Diaz, Jr. of South El Monte, California, taking on Javier Fortuna. WBC interim lightweight title. Catch it live on the zone. This is your co-main event, Joseph Jojo Diaz Jr., Javier Fortuna, Friday night, live on the zone here in Los Angeles. And now, folks, let's bring up the promoter for this big event taking place here at Bank of California Stadium. Give it up for the Golden Boy himself, Oscar De La Hoya. Oscar, good to see you again. Good to see you. Hey, how does it feel to bring boxing back to L.A.? Um, it, yeah, it's always nice to, uh, to come back to L.A. I mean, obviously, it's, um, it's uh, our, our home here. Um, and just the fact that we can open up the doors to all the fans, uh, which always has been very important to, uh, to the company, um, especially having this fight card that is so stacked. I mean, it's going to be incredible. We can't wait. Speaking of the fight card, the, the rising stars, how excited are you for that? 
Well, yeah. I mean, look, we have we have four great fights um, on the uh, on the the zone telecast, the championship telecast, and those fights are literally like a like pick 'em fights, you know. And that's what that's exactly what we uh, we pride ourselves in doing. Uh, look, Sanisa is like fighting for another world title, which I'm so happy for because not only because she we're like from the same hometown, but um, she's exciting to watch. And um, and Tsunami is a fighter who is a, a world champion. She's risking it all, coming to LA. Surdo uh, is facing um, a, a fighter that is uh, in, in Sullivan who uh, who brings a lot to the table. And so you know, with Jojo and 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 Fortuna who are stepping up. Uh, Jojo's a fighter who you know I love his attitude now. That is just hey, face me with anyone. I'll fight him. Um, I'm, uh, it makes me proud that he's, uh, he's, uh, he's stepping up uh, big time. And then, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we, we, we feel very, very proud, uh, especially that it can be here at the LA, LA uh, FC Stadium. Uh, outdoors, uh, we'll have a packed house. It's going to be a lot of fun. It is an exciting event to, to have, especially here in LA, especially after the 2020 we endured and now coming into 21 with things right. opening up for us. Right. Looking at the card, as stacked as it is, is there one fight in particular you think could steal the show? Um, that can steal the show? Um, I don't know. I just saw my man. I just saw my man uh, Crunch Time over there, who uh, who is, is is not on the main main telecast, but he will be on the uh, on the worldwide uh, Facebook Watch telecast. Uh, he's always a fighter that can that can really bring it. So I'm I'm excited about that. Um, you know, um, every every fight is is uh, is going to be a banger. I think I think that uh, you know my matchmakers uh, uh, do a phenomenal job. Uh, you know, with uh, Robert Diaz and obviously Eric Gomez. Um, you know, I make sure that we uh, we make sure that the fights are are great fights. That's that's what the fans want to see, and and not only because of the fans, but also. Also for the uh, you know the preparation and the betterment uh, of the fighters you know the styles for them to progress and get better and get experience, it's all a plan. It's all a process, and and we're we're very happy and proud that we uh, we have that formula down. You know. Speaking of that, and I'll, I'll let you go with this question: What is that formula to raise up these champions? I you know the the major part about it is that I was a fighter myself. So I understand. I know the process. I've been there. And so I, I get firsthand and I know how it's like to get in the ring, to lace up the gloves. I mean, what other promoter, what other big promoter um, has laced up the gloves? Nobody. So it's, it, to me, this is not a business. To me, this is like boxing is my life. And I know that boxing is these fighters' lives. So you have to kind of... Just, it's kind of like a balancing act, you know? You have to make sure you put in great fights, but you have to also make sure that, yeah, that you give the fight fans what they want, but you also have to make sure that you're, you're doing what's right for the fighter inside the ring and outside the ring, and nobody else knows better than, than us because I've, I've been there, I've done that. That's a great perspective to, to look at it from, and we thank you yeah. for that. Well, I'm going to let you go with that, ladies and gentlemen, again. Right. Yeah, good luck to all the fighters. Thank you, Oscar. Yeah. Thanks. We'll have a brief pause now as we switch from our live to zone feed. Actually, we'll continue on. I apologize. Oscar is usually my main event. I apologize for that. All right, here we go, folks. In the night's main event, it's history in the making as the first Mexican super middleweight champion moves up to light heavyweight as Gilberto Zurdo Ramirez takes on the rugged Cuban contender, Sullivan Barrera. Muchas gracias. Buenas tardes a todos. Muy contento por estar aquí. Thank you everyone for coming and I'm so happy to be here. And it's the, the fight week and I'm so excited to put a great show. Hey, Zurdo, Mexico contra Cuba always provides great fights. What should we expect on Friday night? Oh. I expecting a, a a really good show, exciting fight, and I know him really well, and he know me, and we know that we training hard, 
and we put a great show always. And but uh, then at the end of the day, I'm gonna raise my hand and get 34, 42, 42 victories and 28 knockouts. That's highly ambitious. I know you're capable of it Friday night. Going over to you, Sullivan, you fought great champions like Andre Ward, Bivol, Joseph Smith Jr. Where does Surdo rank in your top list of fighters? Well, I'm Español. Gabriel. Oh, no, no, come on, come on. I'll take the question again. ¿Qué piensas de Surdo? No. Um, I respect Surdo a lot. Like, like, like he talk like uh, we know each other. We training hard. Um, we do a sparring together. But now is is the is the time for for putting the big show for the boxing fan. Well, thank you. Thank you for doing that in English, so nobody had to translate. <laughs> I would screw it up. I know it. <laughs> Surdo. So so far. Has the lead up to your first fight with Golden Boy, how's it been for you? Oh, it's so exciting. I'm so happy to be part of the family at Golden Boy, and I'm glad for that. feel grateful and to give me the opportunity at Golden Boy. And uh, I just want to put a great show and, and show all my skills and give all the fans like, whatever they want, like good fights, and, and, and that's all what I want. Now, you, you two have a history together. You've, you've sparred together. You know each other. Is this an advantage for you, Sullivan? Uh, well, yeah, when, when you spar with somebody, but you can, he can come with something different. But we know it, we work. doesn't matter. We were at the gym. We saw video, and then we put in that Friday night on, on the show. Well, there they are, folks. Your main event Friday night, super middleweight world title on the line. Let's get you in the middle one more time. As you'll face those cameras up in the front, please. Gilberto Suro Ramirez, the first Mexican super middleweight world champion. Now moving up to the light heavyweight division. Taking on Cuban contender Sullivan Marrera, sparring partners of the past. We'll meet up in the square circle on Friday night. Your DAZN main event from here at Bank of California Stadium in L.A., California. Want to thank all the fighters as well as Oscar De La Hoya, the Golden Boy himself, for joining us today. Thanks to everyone for watching and don't forget to tune in. On Friday night to see history in the making as undefeated Zurdo Ramirez takes on the Cuban contender Sullivan Barrera as well as Jojo Diaz Jr. and Javier Fortuna all going after it Friday night live on DAZN. And now we will have a two minute pause.
Well, we'd like to welcome everybody back to the official presser ahead of our main card. That's Zurdo Barrera going off on Friday night here at Bank of California Stadium in Los Angeles, California. And you can catch it only live around the world on the zone. But before we get to the big card, of course, we start out with a full day of fight action and some rising superstars in boxing. Names you might have heard before, names you're definitely going to remember after Friday night. Our Facebook card will start at 1215 Pacific. That's on Golden Boy's Fight Night page on Facebook. All right, let's get it started right now as we welcome up to the stage highly ranked super bantamweight standout, Crazy A. Azat Hovanesian. Azat, welcome. Also, he's taking on a tough journeyman from Guadalajara, Mexico, Jose Gonzalez. Put your hands together for him. I've got some questions prepared for you. We've got your translator standing by. Azat, what do you know about your opponent? Uh, Lara, no, I don't know. No, don't watch this guy. Only one, two fight I watch, and that's it. So you know very little about your opponent, which is not uncommon. Does that in any way have you maybe a little bit on your heels for this fight? No, no, uh, no. Okay, a man of many words. Let's move on over to Jose. Jose, you fought some tough Golden Boy fighters. Where does Azat rank among those fighters? Jose, has enfrentado muchos peleadores difíciles de Golden Boy. Dentro de esa gran lista de peleadores, ¿dónde posicionas a este gran reto que tienes de este viernes? Sabemos que es un, un peleador difícil, un peleador duro, pero venimos bien preparados para dar una buena pelea. We know that he's a very tough fighter, but we've come very prepared to give a great fight. All right, Azad, I'm going to let you expand here a little bit. Your division is very competitive. A win on Friday night is going to do what for you? I Every time I good training, good best shape, I'm ready for big fight, it's title fight. Any fight finish, my last fight I KO. Any fight finish, finish, good opponent. I say title fight, title fight. I ready every day, it's title fight. Yeah. All right, Azat, seeking the title fight after a win Friday night. Let's get you guys here to look at the cameras real quick. If you don't mind, come up to the middle for me. Pas en centro. Y a las cámaras primera, por favor. A las cámaras, gracias. Azat Hovanesian, Crazy A, the Armenian from Hollywood, California, takes on the Mexican Jose Gonzalez of Guadalajara, Jalisco. Catch this action on the Golden Boy fan page live on Facebook, kicking off 1215 Pacific here in LA. Thank you. Gracias. And now, folks, please welcome the fighting pride of Washington, D.C., Lamont Roach, Jr. And across from him will be from Mexico City, Mexico, the rugged Daniel Rosas. All right, Lamont, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing great. How's this California weather treating you so far? Oh, it's treating me perfect, man. I'm coming Great. from the from the east, but it's hot and humid. <laughs> well, Lamont, last time in the ring, you put on a great third round stoppage in the bubble at Fantasy Springs, but now we're excited to have you back in action, surrounded by fans at Bank of California Stadium. How excited are you to be in front of a live audience? I couldn't wait, man. I, I just couldn't wait to hear the crowd cheers and roars, especially when I knocked this guy on his ass. All right, let's go over to your opponent, Daniel. For fighters that don't know you, what should they expect from you on Friday? Para los que no te conocen, ¿qué tipo de pelea podemos esperar este viernes? Bueno, primeramente, buenas tardes a todos. Eh, es un placer estar aquí peleando para Golden Boy. Y para los que no me conocen, eh, me gusta a mí dar buenas peleas de, de intercambio de golpes. Me gusta, como dicen en México, me gusta partirme la madre bonito y sabroso. 
Yo creo que va a ser una buena pelea. Eh, Lamón se ve que es un, un, un peleador fuerte, aguerrido. Va a ser buena pelea, ¿no? De mi parte, espero dar buena pelea y que a todo el público le agrade. Nada más. Gracias. First off, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to be fighting on a Golden Boy card. Uh, I know I'm going to give a, a very great fight, and as we say in Mexico, I like to fuck things up in a very nice and savory way. I know that my opponent is a very tough warrior, and I'm going to be prepared to give a great fight on Friday. I believe that to be a very accurate translation, Gabriel. Thank you. <clears throat> Lamont. Let's go, Lamont. You, you've been around, brother. How close are you to a world title fight after this fight, if you win on Friday? When I win on Friday, I'll be very close to a world title. Um, you guys will definitely find out after this fight. All right, it's going to be handled inside the ring. We're going to get you guys up here in the middle. One quick look up to the cameras for us. Thank you, Lamont. Lamont Roach Jr. out of the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., taking on from Mexico City. The capital of Mexico goes after it, Daniel Rosas, Friday night. Bank of California Stadium, Los Angeles. Thank you, gentlemen. Lamont, Daniel. Lo, lo último, lo último, pero no más importante. Quiero quiero agradecer a la empresa de Golden Boy, a Hugo Partida por darme esa oportunidad y agradecerme a mí mismo por tener huevos, echarle ganas todos los días. Quiero agradecerme por por, por estar aquí, al señor Roberto Díaz por la oportunidad, a todo Golden Boy y espero darles una buena pelea como las que acostumbro dar y seguir eh, trabajando eh, para Golden Boy, que me sigan dando buenas peleas y seguir eh, gustándole a todos los fans del boxeo. Muchas gracias. Lastly, but not least, and very important, I want to thank everyone here, I want to thank Hugo Partida, I want to thank Golden Boy Promotions, and I want to thank myself for having the balls to be able to take such tough, such tough challenges. Uh, I want to thank myself for training very hard every single day, and I hope that Golden Boy keeps giving me the opportunity to keep fighting. Thank you. Well, he's definitely a, a fun interview. He brings it. He brings fire. All right, folks, we've got our first title fight of the night featuring Puerto Rican rising star Brian Chari Chevalier taking on Golden Boy's own James Crunch Time Wilkins. Well, gentlemen, welcome to the stage. Hope you're all feeling well. Weather's great here in California. The sun's shining. We're expecting a beautiful night of boxing on Friday night. Brian, let's go to you first. What does this opportunity mean for your career? Brian, para ti y tu carrera, ¿qué significa esta pelea? Es una oportunidad grande en mi carrera, es mi primera oportunidad fuera de Puerto Rico. Eh, agradezco a la compañía a la cual pertenezco que Miguel Cotto Promotion por la gran oportunidad, al igual que Golden Boy Promotion, por permitirme estar aquí. Y es una oportunidad para demostrarle al mundo eh, que está hecho Brian Chari Chevalier. It's a great opportunity for me. It's my first time fighting outside of Puerto Rico. I want to thank the promoter that I belong to, Miguel Cotto Promotions. I also want to thank Golden Boy Promotions for giving me the opportunity to fight here. Uh, it's a very great opportunity and big opportunity for my career, and I'm gr very grateful for that to give a great show. Thank you. All right, James, crunch time. Mr. Wilkins, let's go to you for a moment. How good does it feel to be back, back in the mix? You're just days away from a return to the ring. It feels amazing, and I'm grateful for every opportunity I get. I understand where I'm at and where I'm headed, and I understand that each, each position I'm put in is another stepping stone to get me to where I want to be, so I don't take nothing for granted, and the world's going to see that July 9th. Crunch time has spoken. All right, one more question for you, Brian. Your opponent is very aggressive. 
Now, what kind of fight should we expect from you Friday knowing that? Tienes a un rival muy agresivo. Debido a eso, ¿qué tipo de pelea podemos esperar de ti? Yo soy un, un boxeador que hace de todo. Bocea, pelea. Eh, yo me tengo que acoplar a lo que él traiga. Pues depende de lo que él traiga, nosotros vamos a hacer el trabajo y acoplarnos a eso. I'm the kind of boxer who can do anything. I can box, I can do anything. I'm going to have to adjust to what he brings. So I'll see what he brings and I'll make the adjustment to that. You got a final word for it, James? July 9th, just tune in. I'm young, I'm talented, I'm hungry for success. And I'm going to show the world I'm just not to be played with. I'm here to stay. God don't make mistakes. God does not make mistakes. I ain't never been in a position I ain't make it out of yet. I'm here to stay. The world gonna see that. All right, we've got the words from both Chevalier and James Wilkins. Now we'll have them face off so you can get your cameras ready. Words will be spoken today and tomorrow, and it'll all be settled with the leather on Friday night. Of course, you can catch this preliminary action on the Golden Boy fan page on Facebook, starting at 12.15 Pacific Standard Time here on the West Coast. All right, that's going to do it for these two gentlemen. Hold up. If the fight doesn't happen, you do not get paid. So chill out, James. All right, well, I think we are squared away. Hey, catch the real one Friday. Facebook. Go on the boy fan page. Be sure to tune in. Some early excitement here. We'll let it settle down a little bit. Well, if you weren't excited for preliminary fights ever in your life, I hope you are now. Facebook, watch. Catch the Golden Boy action 1215 Pacific here in California. James Wilkins going into battle. Crunch time against the Puerto Rican Charri Chevalier. All right, we'll get on to our main event and our preliminary card on Facebook. The first women's fight of the night from Tokyo, Japan. We have the current... WBA flyweight world champion Naoko Fujioka and her opponent challenger from Phoenix Arizona rooting on the sun Sulem Urbina welcome ladies you're used to this beautiful weather welcome to California welcome to California see the United States we're gonna start with you Naoka or Naoko how excited are you to fight on Friday night for Golden Boy here in California? I'm glad to be here. Uh, I'm excited. I appreciate Golden Boy for this great opportunity. Uh, I've been thinking about fighting uh, in U.S. for a long time. In Japan, female boxing is not popular. Uh, so it's very important for me, my supporters, and uh, Japanese boxers. Thank you, Naoko. Sulem, this will be your first world title opportunity. How motivated are you to go home to Arizona with the belt? Well, primero que nada, gracias a todos los que nos están acompañando. Uh, first of all, thank you all for being here today and for everybody watching on Facebook. Um, es mi primera oportunidad de campeonato mundial. Estoy muy emocionada. Uh, desde niña soñé con esta oportunidad. Llegué a Estados Unidos inmigrante con mis padres con un sueño y este fin de semana se va a hacer realidad. Um, I'm very excited to be here. It's my world championship fight and uh, 
I came to the United States when I was a little girl with a dream, an immigrant child, and uh, this weekend I make my dream come true. That's an outstanding story. A lot to dig into there. We can't get it into it right now, but we will recognize you, Naoko. You're the only five division world champion from Japan in men or women's boxing. That's an incredible accomplishment. I say congratulations to you on that. Now, what do you know about your opponent, Sulem? Yeah, I know she's very tough. Yeah, of course, I watch the uh, YouTube. Yeah. Um, but uh, I have a long career uh, as a boxer. Uh, yeah, very exciting. Thank you. Sulem, how far have you come since your last fight? And how excited are you to be one of two women fighting for a world title? Bueno, mi, mi último combate fue, fue una derrota ante Marlene Esparza y estoy muy agradecida con Golden Boy por no dejarme caer, aunque, aunque perdí esa pelea, uh, me están promoviendo, estoy aquí, esta, tengo esta gran oportunidad y fue un gran aprendizaje para mí. Well, my last fight uh, was against Marlene Esparza. It was my first defeat in my professional career. And I thank Golden Boy for, you know, allowing me to be here and getting me this title fight. It was definitely a great learning experience and uh, I'm ready to face the best flyweight champion in the world in Naoko Fujioka. Well, you know who you're fighting. I think we all do. Let's get you up here for a picture. Please don't slap each other. Let's keep it civil. Naoko Fujioka, the five division world champion from Japan, takes on Arizona's own Sulem Urbina. World title fight live on Facebook. Catch the action on Friday night. Thank you, ladies. That's going to do it for the presser, ladies and gentlemen. We thank you for joining us this afternoon here at Bank of California Stadium in LA. Be sure again. 12.15 on Facebook. Catch the preliminary action on the Golden Boy fan, fan page. It's all coming your way Friday night, July 9th here in Los Angeles. Show them who you are Final chance to prove it all